So uh, done. Yeah, yeah. Man, I tell some bad jokes when I'm on camera, but I'm like really not funny. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. What did you say? Yeah. Coolest DJ on the mother planet. <laughs> I'm about to tell everybody the story why and there's probably only like maybe basically if you went to college me you know why i'm called that it's a college nickname so i'm and, and i'm gonna say i'm surprised nobody asked me this because it's a bit How long you in two years so it's a bit <laughs> what a douchebag why it's not i was in college for two years you can google that <laughs> um yeah not at all um i was gonna say because i don't know if i saw like my personal like looking on the outside, I would think that's isn't that a bit arrogant or look at this dick. The cool, look, no, at, that's sick. look at this dickhead. No, but, but I guess you know me, but I don't even understand what you mean by that. But my point is, like, from the outside, just a regular person, I would just be like, Well, why would he like that's, that's kinda lame. But no, I don't think I'm the coolest two guys on the planet. The story kinda is when I was in college, like my nickname was Esco. For whatever stupid reason I whatever stupid reason i put a headband on and i had a, my hair was a little bit longer than this and one of my teammates was like yo you look like dj esco and then a cup like it just stuck everyone just called me esco most of the time instead of josh and obviously esco's producer tag is cool. coolest dj on the mother planet so uh, done see, see, yeah Got right it. so that's the only reason i have that that's the only reason i do that because nobody actually calls me esco anymore like I don't like I'm not in close like uh, close contact with a lot of my college friends so it doesn't pop up on my socials a lot like that and like maybe only one of them like my friend Taryn he's probably the only one who would still call me Esco so like it's a mystery to everybody else but that's where it comes from I just thought you thought you were the cool this is my point like, uh, no I don't like not at all <laughs> I just thought it was a cool name what what well, for years now Fre bro it was like freshman year but I was kind of like I still want that, like, nobody calls me Esco, but I never had a nickname before, and I kind of enjoyed having a nickname, so it was like a little piece of that that I kept. Oh, I'm trying to think of names, podcasts, and obviously, like, you're a basketball player, so then, I'm trying to think, like, you know, like, more than a game? More than a podcast. More than, more than a chat, <laughs> more than a podcast, more than a talk. Like, hmm, mine's not as bad as I thought it was. That was... Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. What did you say? Yeah, what yeah, did what? you say yesterday? You came up with a pretty bad one yesterday. Yeah, you actually, you didn't come up with any. Yeah, you're right. My bad, my bad, my bad. What did you come up with? So, I uh, kind of bouncing off that, you said something. Uh, so, do you believe in the one? Yeah, you was just like, I don't know, when you find the right person, da-da-da, right person. So, do you believe this is one person? Is this one person you're looking for? Are you trying to find your, uh, I think your puzzle piece? <laughs> to be honest like this is a question that i've always had in my head i think there's a lot of people that you'll imagine like this is the one and then there's loads of people that just scrape underneath it yeah and i like to believe there's the one but i think there's a lot of people you can vibe with a lot of people that make you happy laugh fulfill your needs and stuff but on like an actual real like vibe spiritual connection i think there is one person for you that you will encounter with in your life whether it's you've been or you're going to you will encounter that person yeah. but that's if you are ready for that person at that time do you know what i'm saying yeah i mean and i, I think that's like there is the one and you okay do so i have a slightly like, different if well, you have no choice. You're gonna listen to my opinion, but, I <laughs> to your opinion. but um, like I I don't necessarily believe in the one. I feel like what you're saying about you have to be ready. I feel like that's kind of I don't know if I'm using the right word here, but it's kind of subjective, I guess, to your perception of the situation. Like I don't believe in the one. I I think that's statistically impossible. Um, I believe in ones. It's like, I don't know, there's no better way to put that for me. So you're going to come across so many people in your life that you're going to have this connection with. And some of them, some of these puzzle pieces are going to fit okay. Some of them not gonna fit, you know, not so good. And some of these aren't going to fit at all. But some of these connections are going to be so easy and effortless. It's going to feel like the one. And you're going to be like, no, this is it. This is the person for me. But like the truth of the matter is circumstance doesn't always allow these things to, you know, reach their potential maybe 100 and they may and they may uh finish prematurely but that's like 
it doesn't necessarily mean that was the only person in the world that you were ever going to vibe with and have that same connection with. You might you might not make the same connection for a long time. The next few relationships you're in, they might kind of fit so so. But like, there's so many people on this planet, man, and there's it's, I feel like it's impossible for you not to meet another person that you have a similar connection with, or even can build towards a kind of connection like that with. But it, and, and that's why I say it's yeah, maybe it's maybe it's subjective to say that oh, when you're ready to accept and you will find this person that you know that you when you're ready to accept the one it's like well have you just found someone that you're really connecting with on that level and the circumstances are right this time you're in that place you're in that place in your life you're in that you've got that maturity you've had these experiences you've done whatever and oh well now i'm ready for a relationship and this person's kind of cool i feel like that happens to nearly everybody but it's not always with the person that they fit the best with people kind of just marry the person who they're nearest to you know yeah i to be fair like, i agree with you right but I don't know I feel like it's gonna sound so cliche but like when you know you will know and I think yes there's loads of people as you said you can vibe with statistically yes 100 but speaking from I can only speak from my experiences like I don't know the facts of the shit but from my experiences putting aside the relationship I'm in now Mm -hmm. all my other relationships I my head would drift elsewhere. Okay, so I'm I maybe only get like a small percentage of where your head's at because obviously I don't know how much you tell me. I don't know how much of it is the truth or where you're really at or whatever. Or like relationships or situationships, that was like a big insecurity of mine, and I would use relationships mm. as like my validation, my comfort, my da 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 da. So uh, really, me me finding. God yeah, and no, shit. I could definitely relate to like, that. Yeah, I'm the sure. way that I believe it, like, obviously, like, I believe in God, like, like straight up. Mm-hmm. Like, I knew yeah. that God, God will bring you to, like, the worst, like, to get the message across. He, like, brought me, he knew that that was my weakness, like, being in relationships, finding that, like, attachment. Yeah. I would seek for that. Like, I was putting myself, myself in situationships or relationships, not even because I liked them, just because of the attention I got or, it was cushy, like you see me, like random shit. You're like Dre, what are you doing? Like because, like that was yeah. my like insecurity, and I, I feel like God used that to get to me. Okay. And like so, when you say like, oh, like you thought that this girl made you find it, da 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 da. Like really, I didn't actually need her. Mm. I just needed like to actually get on Faith Street and actually start believing in God. And since that, God, like, God, I, God's finished playing with you. Like fam, I'm telling you, like I see things from a whole different lens, and it's okay. crazy. What lens? What lens? You, what lens you like, looking through? I didn't believe in God at all. I would like on like some boy shit, 100. percent And like I talk about this with Dom a lot. Like if Dom, if I Dom believes Dom believes in God as well. Yeah. yeah. Okay. If I my girlfriend, um, if I met Dom a year ago, I probably wouldn't. We wouldn't be where we are because I was never ready. Uh, like I might have like done a dirty or like maybe not been invested like da, 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 da. like I may not have been mm-hmm. because of where I was and I think when I meet people it never was because of them or our compatibility it was because of me yeah like it's like you was, you, you're you always felt like gonna you get given yeah. the opportunity because honestly like I believed in God a long time even when I was that's what I mean I've always I've always known you as a believer I've always known you as a believer yeah. yeah and like I would pray like oh, like please Lord like just give me like the girl meant to be with like i'm tired of it like i remember like being upset like i used to, I used to be tired of like fucking over girls big man thing i was tired of it like every time i did it i hated it but yeah. i would still do it it was like i was addicted <laughs> you could screw your face you could screw your face but like it was like a it's like it's like beating your meat you're watching the porn you're like rah you do it and you're like ew i have to turn it off <laughs> the coolest chit chat that is yeah. The baddest. It. May, I think that would be. I think that would be cooler if more people called me Esco. But like, seeing as I'm yeah, but your Instagram is yeah. But seeing as I'm just calling myself, like people would just be like this. Much. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it's kind of lame. I mean, at least I think that that would be corny. I think it would be corny for me to do that. It's, it's tough, tough. I know. It's difficult. Don't worry. It took me. A while, it took me a lot of bad names to come up with the name I had. I still think mine's a little bit on the nose. But um. 
Actually, I'll show you after, man. You guys, I don't mind you guys seeing it. Like, I'll show you guys. I've like I've done the title, I've done the graphics, I've done the intro. Oh, so what do you need us for? Then? Because maybe I'll maybe you come up with a better one. I can, I promise, I will. Um, yeah, I don't want to put you on the clock. We've just been going for a while. That's all. Yeah, we've been waffling. We've been waffling, mate. But good waffle, though. Yeah, good waffle. Good waffle. Good waffle. Great, waffle. Great waffle, not blue waffle. Um, man, I tell some bad jokes when I'm on camera, but I'm like really not funny. Uh, <laughs> but that's what makes it funny <laughs> uh, yeah I'm gonna leave, I mean it's better if they laugh because then it's not awkward and it's just painful um, um, yeah I mean that's it man it's been a great talk thanks for coming on man this has been fun yeah gotta have you on again definitely again like I said to uh, Danny like maybe not camp maybe you know under 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 more um, more relaxed circumstances maybe more informal more, under more relaxed circumstances I think it would be a, another good time to do this. But again, like, I mean, yeah. All right. Bless. Peace, man. Yeah.